Hi, I'm Evan Ben, Miami Herald food editor and craft beer geek. Today we've got a very cool couple in the studio with us, Dina Marino and Marcus Wade of MC Kitchen. Here's a fact you may not know. Their restaurant has the biggest selection of dogfish head beers on draft in all of Florida. In honor of that, my craft beer pick of the week is Dogfish Head Indian Brown Ale, which we'll be drinking in just a minute. But first, let's meet our guests. Chef Dina Marino is nothing short of a rock star in the kitchen. Having cooked at critically acclaimed restaurants in Napa Valley and Aspen, she opened MC Kitchen at 4141 Northeast 2nd Avenue in Miami's Design District in late 2012. There, from her open kitchen, she cooks elevated rustic Italian dishes that are perfectly good with wine, but they're terrific with beer. That's where Chef Marino's husband comes in. Marcus Wade is MC Kitchen's Director of Operations. He curates the restaurant's impressive beer program, which is centered around a deep list from Dogfish Head Brewery in Delaware. With 20 Dogfish Head beers on draft, MC Kitchen literally can find a beer to pair to any palate. Why focus on beer? I'll let him start. <laughs> uh, you know, it's one of those things we said, why not? You know, if you're going to do a great uh, wine list, if you're going to do a great spirits list, why not do a great beer list? There's no sense in having a list with one or two or three beers. That's just for the mass population. we got to have an extensive list. Um, we have about 20 on tap, strictly from Dogfish Head, and then uh, we have roughly about 40 others. And we're not talking. Models, so. We're not talking like run-of-the-mill beers. I mean, not I think the mill. people know yeah. Dogfish Head for their 60-minute IPA, which is kind of their flagship beer, which is available on draft and in stores throughout Dade and Broward. But I mean, you guys have beers like deep in their program from mm -hmm. their Wood Age series, from their Ancient series. Tell me about some of those. One of my favorites right now. Um, well, not right now, but at the moment, I've been drinking a lot lately. Uh, <laughs> Chateau Giahu is an Ancient series. Uh, Giahu. <laughs> It is Giahu. Giahu. Uh, <laughs> what is that? Uh, it's actually, it's a beer. It's made with orange blossom, honey, and hawthorn fruits. And they're actually fermenting it with, I, th I believe, if I remember right, it's a little pomegranate juice and uh, rice for the fermentable sugars. I love a lot of dishes at MC Kitchen, but one of my personal favorites is your artichoke bruschetta appetizer, which obviously comes with a runny egg on top and mm -hmm. a creamy, cheesy sauce and truffles, truffles. on top. So what, what would you pair with that? Beer-wise. Definitely beer-wise. Um, we were just talking about the Giahu. I think it's perfect with it. It has that little um, bit of the Hawthorne fruits, and it just goes really well with the earthiness of the truffle, the creaminess of the Parmigiano, and kind of cuts through all of that and just makes it even better than it is. That sounds good. So you're going to have to come have one soon. I will. <laughs> <laughs> and besides just regular pints of beer, you guys also do beer cocktails, do. kind of some hop-infused whiskeys, all kinds of weird stuff. Um, what is your philosophy with, with making a, a proper beer cocktail? I think the best thing to do, number one, balance with any cocktail, but beer as well. Um, but we want to taste the beer. I want a good 10, 12 ounces of beer, and then we can, we can take it to the next level. We can add herbs and fruits and spices and nuts, anything you can, you can extract flavor off of. But we want that full 12 ounces of beer. Right. I don't think, I don't think you can do the, a beer cocktail and, you know, in your heart, call it a beer cocktail, unless it, there's beer in it. He uses as much seasonal ingredients as well in all of, not just the beer cocktails, but the cocktails that we have in the kitchen. So herbs and um, fruits and figs. All right, well, let's get to the, uh, the drinking part of the show. Each week on Miami.com and in Thursday's Miami Herald food section, you can find my recommendation for a new craft beer pick of the week. This week, it's Indian Brown Ale from Dogfish Head Craft Brewery in Delaware. It's kind of a hybrid beer between a American Brown Ale and India Pale Ale has a heavy malt presence, almost like a Scotch Ale too. It's a 7.2% alcohol by volume beer. The brewery says it has notes of ginger and chocolate covered raisins, but let's pour it and, and see what we think. I say we have our own taste. Help yourselves, guys. So this is one of the 20 dogfish head beers you have on draft? It is. It is, all right. And I'm gonna just pour the whole bottle. All right, cheers. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> and you could see I have yeah. the smallest <laughs> pour. Oh, 
I do get uh, like a note of spice and ginger for sure. I definitely have the ginger, the malt. Big malt, big hops. Big too. hops. Marcus, what do you think? I'm getting that chocolate from the raisinette. The raisinette. Yeah. Definitely. I don't have chocolate. I have chocolate. <laughs> it's amazing how we all have something completely different at the same time. Savory or sweet to pair with this? Sweet. Sweet. Yeah, it would be really nice with the dessert. I prefer sweet with it actually as well. We have a um, chocolate budino, a flourless chocolate budino that um, it isn't a lava cake, but it's definitely semi soft and has this cocoa rim we use in the pan instead of a flour or a pan spray. So it comes out of the pan. So it has that crunchy, dark, cocoa-y outside. I don't know. A coating. A coating, I think exactly. Would, I think that would work really and nicely. And it's pretty amazing. Well, you could find Dogfish Head Indian Brown Ale at Publix, Total Wine & More for about $9 a six pack. Or you could have it on draft with Dina and Marcus at MC Kitchen.